I'm at the Ice House in Calgary. This is an indoor facility where uh, luge, skeleton, and bobsledders start, uh, practice their starts. Uh, you know, even before my first Olympics, uh, I might have been jogging, I might have been uh, uh, lifting weights, might have been eating dinner. Uh, but you know what was going on in my head all the time? I could see myself walking into that opening ceremony. I could see all the people cheering. It was so exciting. I could see, wow, there's the Olympic flag, and, and there's the torch, and there's the, uh, the, the Olympic orchestra playing the Olympic anthem, my favorite song in the whole wide world. And, and we're high-fiving each other. I was so excited to be there, right? And four years later, when I actually got to walk into that stadium, it was exactly like I imagined it. Only a hundred times better. It was awesome. The, the mind can't tell the difference between something that you vividly imagine with all your heart and all your soul and all your senses and all your passion. It can't tell the difference between that and something that's actually happening. And so you go through that little exercise, what's it going to feel like? What's it going to taste like? What's it going to be like when I finally make my dream come true? You get strong inside. You start walking differently, start talking differently. All of a sudden, people that made fun of you, they just disappear from your life because they're after somebody that's weak, okay? And all of a sudden, you start attracting resources that were there before, but they weren't coming to you before, right? Because Everybody wants to help somebody that believes, somebody's excited. And so visualize it, go through that little exercise. What's it gonna feel like? What's it gonna be like? What's it gonna taste like when I finally make my dream come true? Get excited about it and that'll make you work even harder and then you'll make it happen, all right? Make it an Olympic day. 50, 50.